Something I've sometimes wondered about is whether or not humans, when you look at our behavior over a period of time, and I mean all of humans, you know, what we do, uh, all that sort of thing, whether there is, whether it seem, it could seem from afar, if you looked at our behavior and what the, how it affects things, um, whether we would look like, humans as a whole would look like one animal, a really complex animal. But when you really look at what humans do, we are the chaos of the planet. We move more things around in places they normally wouldn't have been than any other animal um, there are many very incredible forces on the planet. Weather can be quite a force. Volcanoes. Lots of things. But none of those things move things around quite as much as humans. When we overstep the amounts of things that we move around it kicks us in the ass. Unfortunately, it kicks a lot of other life in the ass too. But I've often wondered about, I mean, I've, I've talked about this in two videos now, but if we had the technology that we could basically see where everyone is at um, know quite a bit of information about every person. And, I mean, if we could build sensors that could just see this all over the planet and there are these things floating around and it could scan and somehow know things about people, then... Mm -hmm. But the more realistic one would be if we all had something, yes, implanted in each of us. And it would um, read the uh, what someone's chemicals are at the time. It could also there could also be something else that reads brainwave patterns or something. And if people are so able to contact con you know connect with other people uh, via technology, then uh, what people are talking about and doing would be something that was tracked as well. So we'd have, you know, we'd have a map of information, a map of uh, emotions. We'd have a map of, you know, how someone is thinking and what, inf you know, all of these things. And it would just be interesting to see a mindset map, a real-time mindset map. You know, you have... Certain functions could have different heights, or it could be different colors. Um, just to see what it would look like. Be interesting to see if there is some, you know, what, what, uh, if there is a way to actually see information travel. What would, what would things look like? What would that look like if you could see information travel? But some of, sometimes I, when I think about this sort of stuff, I, I wonder if, like, a number of religions out there have tried to, have, have gotten this sense that there's something more to our, more to us than our individual nature. You know, that there's, that there's a collective nature to us and whether that collective nature has if you broke it apart the right way could it and, and, and it were able to analyze it the right way whether or not it could represent a life form of itself if this sort of thing could be proven if this sort of thing could be was, was shown then it essentially would be proving 
the some of the concepts that have been that have come from religion it would prove some of them true they would just have to really really switch over to a completely different mindset it would no longer be this uh the, the way we normally look at a god it would be more of a well it would be worshiping the creature or life form that represents what humans do. I don't know if that makes any sense or not, but uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs>